Hello and welcome to another episode of Andy's Excited About a Crypto Project. Today we're going to talk about the Solana name service. Because that, that's one thing that lately I've spent quite a lot of time playing around with. Now, I'm not in this project to make money. Like, that's not what I'm in it for. I find it interesting. However, there is certainly the possibility that you could theoretically make money with it. Disclaimer, none of this is financial advice. I'm just using clickbait titles because, I mean, this channel has less than 100 subscribers, so nobody's going to watch those videos if I don't use clickbait. However, I do think that it's a very interesting project, and I just want to tell you about it because I'm excited about it. So anyhow, um, what is it about? You can register domains. Now, what is a domain? Like, in the internet sense, those are the domains, right? The DNS, dynamic name service, resolves those domains to IP addresses, and then uh, people can just type in the names, and they don't need to... Uh, IP from the server. Same we can do with Solana stuff, not just addresses, but stuff. So it supports several wallets. I'm just gonna connect my wallet. One second, I need to put in my password. Boom. There we go. We just connect. Now we are connected. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at domains. Okay. So let's say we want to buy a domain. There are several things that can happen. Let's say I want to buy andy.sol. All those domains here are sold with a dot .sol. Okay, we see andy.sol is unavailable, unfortunately, because somebody else already bought it. We can see if we click on it, the owner is this guy, by the way. 3-3, May 17. If you want to sell that domain, hit me up. And that's exactly one of the reasons why getting in early to this is super important. You might have seen this guy bought the domain for 20 freaking dollars, whereas I would have easily bid 200 for it. By the way, if you want to sell it to me directly, I bid 400. Um, and yeah, that's just, you need to get in early on that stuff. If, you, if I would have known about that, let's have a look. A few months ago, when he bought it, uh, two months ago, we can see here, he bought it for 20 freaking dollars. I would have, I would have paid more, definitely. Anyhow, back to the name service. That's the one thing that can happen, that the domain is just already taken. You can you can do nothing about it then. They're just out of luck, you're too late. But let's say I want to register Crypto Andy. Why not? Uh, type Crypto Andy. This one is available. Cool. It expires never because those domains are for life. I mean, for as long as a Solana is around, because if the blockchain disappears, then all of that will disappear. And the Bonfida name service uh, is around, which we, since it's a smart contract, we can assume that it's going to stay around. But it's a smart contract that can be edited. So, in fact, if you want to have a look, um, going back to uh, the end, the thing, the name service program to see that that's the owner so those are not actually nfts even though they they make it look like nfts it's not an nft it's just an address uh, an account on solana and uh, it is owned by the name service program which is a smart contract that can be upgraded so they can change this and this contract basically uh remembers which address or which account so which domain belongs to which address so which wallet anyhow 
so you don't you don't actually own it, but the program knows you own it. So there's a little bit of risk involved, a bit more risk than with an NFT that you actually own. However, let's just trust the system and that it will be around. Um, that's the basis of our investment thesis here. Okay, so let's say I want to buy crypto, Andy. Nobody ever wanted to have that, so we need to register the domain by creating an auction. The domains are sold in an auction process that takes seven days. So if I want to have that domain, I need to wait at least seven days before I can get it. And here I need to start the auction and I need to confirm. Then my solid wallet will tell me what will happen. Okay, um, I'm like, oh, actually, before we do that, let's write down um, how much, wow, well, my laptop is a little bit, a little bit busy. Let's write down how much Solana we have in our wallet um, because even though Solana is quite cheap, it does cost us some soul to do all those things in transaction fees and more importantly, creating the accounts that uh, always cost some. So back to here and here, we confirm that we actually want to do this, approve, and then the auction was created and it lasts seven days. So in seven days, this auction will end and the top bidder will get the domain. Okay, so we need to bid on it. All right, let's place a bid. The minimum bid is $21. Actually, it's 21.00. Zero one. It must be above twenty-one dollars, and I like to do it like this because then it looks like it's twenty-one thousand. Anyhow, um, so again, to submit a bid, you have to click here, and then an account is created here. That's something that costs, okay? And then another transaction will be needed to actually move the money there. That's this one, and we also approve this one, and then we get the message, cool, you now bid on CryptoAndy.Sol, right? See how it looks like it's 21,000? Anyhow, um, and in a week, this might be my domain, might be, not sure, somebody might outbid me, who knows. Yes, so that's the second thing that can happen. The domain is available and you can start an auction. Then the third thing that can happen is an auction is already happening. So, for instance, um, yeah, all of those, those are already happening. Sam Bankman Fried, apparently. So we can see people are trying to... to you know, get domains that they might be able to resell later, but is he going to want to have that with a capital S? Who knows? Anyhow, if I were to search for this and find it, then we see the same, um, the same mask and we can bid on this auction now. It's always 5% more, so if the bid here is... 23.2, then the min bid is now 24.37. I think I don't have enough money anymore for that. Let me quickly get some USDC. Meanwhile, uh, let's have a look at the... Yes, that is a very sexual name that you have there. Satoshi Nakamoto. We can see that people are trying uh, to get domains that they might be able to resell at a later point because who wants to use that name by themselves, right? Nobody. Like, I don't think. Like, people are just trying to get things that they can resell. Or some of them are. In this case, I think 
those are examples for that. And it's here. Okay, cool. So, cool. We have some operating budget again. So we can go back here and uh, bid on those auctions. Let's just bid on that just for fun. So we see it's only 50 seconds left. So we're gonna sneakily bid 25 US dollars. Submit that. Then, of course, I said submit that. Oh, invalid the domain name. Interesting. Interesting. It won't even allow me to do that. Somebody is try. Okay. In, in, very interesting. Somebody apparently hacked the system to get access to that. Another note on that, I just read up about it. Only lowercase domain names are allowed and the dev team outbid every single one with an uppercase character and they will be therefore removed. Right, so let's find a domain that is proper, that just has lower uh, case letters. For instance, Almeria. Almeria, is that a name? Yeah, just not because I want to have it, but just because I want to demonstrate something. If we now place a bid here, again, 5% on top is 5% from 22 would be 1.1. So 22 plus 1.1 is 23.1. And that's exactly what we see here. So we need to bid at least 23.1 something one. Or let's just say 24 because nicer number. And then we submit. Then we get to create that account. Approve. And then we need to approve that. And now you've seen the counter was already below five minutes. But now that a new bid was created, it's bumped up to 10 minutes again. Such that nobody can snipe the domain last second. I mean, that was possible when the blockchain was uh, a bit overwhelmed after the restart. It was possible. But now that it's working normally, it should always add 10 minutes to the auction if an, a new bid is placed. Right. So maybe I get outbid now. I don't care. I don't really want that domain anyway. I just wanted to demonstrate it. Right. So that's the one thing. And then let's say we manage to successfully get one of those domains. Let's see. Let's go to my bids. And here we can see all the things that I bid on. And this one I already won. I already have loop creative Andy dot sol. And when the auction is done and you are the top bidder, you can claim your domain. And then you get to this message. When I first read that, I was like, what? You gotta pay rent? I thought it's a one-time payment and then it's mine. And that is the case. It is a one-time payment. But Solana has this concept of rent for all their accounts. Basically, it just means that you need to invest a little bit of soul to get an exception for those rents so to be um, uh, to not have to pay rent i can go in a little bit more detail about solana rent in another video if you want let me know in the comments because i did do a deep dive into that and i actually found out that uh, we are not paying enough rent here and there was a bug in uh, the the bond feeder code um, but i told the developers about it and then they fixed it. So by now it's working properly. Okay, so why does it give us that choice? Basically, we can store stuff on our domain. We can store text, we can store images, we can store whatever we want. It's just bytes on the blockchain. And we can choose now, and this is not changeable because as soon as it's created, you can't change the size anymore. So we need to decide which size we want. The maximum is 10 kilobytes, but for most users and for most use cases, 
one kilobyte is just fine and one kilobyte I have to pay 0.008 sol in order to keep that account open for 10 it would be a bit less than 10 times that so 0 0.07 but for most use cases one kilobyte is enough so I'm gonna set an example and just use one kilobyte because I'm not gonna need more I'm, I'm, I don't want to claim that much space on the blockchain if I don't need that again you approve that you pay those 0 0.008 sol additionally and the money that you invested for the bid will get moved to an account from Bonfida and they will uh, do token buy and burns so the money will be used to buy and burn tokens feeder tokens and when I claimed it my $20 are gone and I am now the owner of this domain Woo! we own a domain isn't that cool yes it is yeah it definitely is because what can we do now well we can set content to this domain and you can do simple stuff like text hello world or I don't know check out youtube.com slash dftb dftb andy confirm that's one transaction and it just costs me that transaction fee and it sets the data right so that's the data in binary that i want to set and i hit approve and boom data is on the blockchain now if we have a look at the actual account on the blockchain oh yeah wait i now i now accessed here is the account so that's that's the one we can see that the name service program is the owner it's not me nothing changed in my wallet really like in my wallet here nothing changed i don't have anything except if i look here i can see my domains isn't that cool but it's it's nothing that like it's not an nft it's just in a smart contract anyhow back to that now back to that so here we see one kilobyte it's 1000 bytes plus a little bit of metadata the, the header for the account and that's what I had to pay for to keep it alive in fact if you want to if you want to dive a little bit more deep into Solana rent Solana rent for 1069 bytes I have I would have to pay 0.0000233 sol per epoch so every two days and in order to not have to pay rent, you need to have that much soul on the ad on the account. Then you don't have to pay rent, and that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly uh, how much we put here, such that we don't have to pay rent. Okay, that's the technical fun stuff for me. But now to the fun stuff for you. What do we see here? that was the transaction the last one where i set the content and it basically just cost me that transaction fee so from now on it's super cheap for me to change the content i can do it as much as i want i can edit this and i can set it to let's say my address let's do that we set new content confirm approve and then the content is a solana address now that we have that maybe make it a little smaller that you can get to that arrow here 
Now, if I click here, it will bring me to the Explorer that already decoded this address. That's my address now. But way more interestingly, what I can do now is I can use my domain name to receive tokens. I mean, the wallet needs to support that. They need to look up the name. But Phantom Wallet and Solid.io, they both do that. To demonstrate, let me again log myself in. Okay, we are logged in and we could now send loop tokens. Send to loop creative andy dot sol. And we send like 9000 because I can, that's why. At the moment, I have one loop token here. And let me guess, I need to type all of that again. 9,000 tokens, next, and this address will be resolved with the SNS, the name service, and we can hit send, and drum roll, it is sent. And drum roll, we have the nine, over 9,000 loop tokens here. So it worked. I did not have to put in my address. I just had to type my domain name. And that's super helpful because for humans, those readable dom domain names are much easier to remember. Now, if we have a look at the transaction here, and again, that's more the technical stuff in case you're interested. Basically, we paid the transaction fee, yes, but you see nowhere here that it was sent to loopcreativeandy.sol because the address that it was sent to, this one, it was all done automatically by the wallet. The wallet looked up the name, so the address that it got from the domain name, and then it also looked up the token account, which is this one, because it already has a token account and it didn't need to create a new one. So it sent the loop tokens to that one. I can, of course, also send Sol, but before we do that, let's do that calculation. 0.2705. So essentially for creating a bit we had to pay 0 0.0234 uh, sol for all of the things that we did that was creating an auction, creating a bit, doing a second bit and claiming a domain with one kilobyte and at current prices of 132 that are three dollars so it's not nothing but if you compare it to ethereum and the gas fees there it's still affordable right so we can of course also send some sol to loop creative andy dot sol for instance, not like I have a lot here, 0 0.001 and next and send. And then we will see that it also appears on my other account where I just put the address. There we go. I just had to put my address into the content field of this account, so this domain. That's one thing that we can do. Another very cool thing about having a domain is I can make as many subdomains as I want. For instance, I could now do donate dot loop creative andy dot sol 
and it creates another another domain per default it has two kilobytes of storage every subdomain has two kilobytes of storage let's have a look at that um, I added it and it's still a bit complicated to get there I need to actually type it in here and then we can see yes I own it it's my domain and again I can set an address here that I want you to donate to, for instance, my standard donation address, boom, confirmed. And now if you send funds to donate.loopcreativeandy.sol, it will be sent to this address, which is super cool because I, I can do as many subdomains as I want. And let's have a look at it. Per default, it's created with two kilobytes so it's a bit more expensive to keep it in the storage of the validators so you need to pay more to be rent exempt yes that's that isn't that cool i i think this is so cool and the things that you can do with you don't just you you can you can do also other stuff not just addresses to put in here you can have can have entire images, smart contracts, any kind of data that you want to put on the blockchain, you can put in there because that is then stored on the blockchain. I don't know, maybe it's just me who finds that so interesting, but I do find that interesting. Anyhow, maybe you're more interested in making money with it. Okay, then uh, let's talk a bit more about getting domains. One of the big advantages of uh, registering the auctions yourself, even though you have to pay for the registration process, which is a bit under a dollar, it gives you the big advantage of being able to set the time when the auction is ending. Because as we saw earlier, the end is where it gets interesting because there you can defend your domain and outbid the others who increase the bids, right? So, because if I were to search for 1992, for instance, somebody else created that auction and uh, it ends in four days and 20 hours, which is for me the middle of the night. So I will not be able to be there to bid on that at that time so my only choice is to now already outbid it by i don't know putting 42 dollars here which i'm not gonna do because that money is tied up until the auction ends or somebody outbids me speaking of somebody outbids me no not my domains my bids did somebody outbid me i hope so nope i now can also claim this domain um i was hoping that somebody outbids me so let's have a discussion of things that you can register as domain names. Obviously, it started with just lowercase names. That's the simple thing, and that's what I want, right? I want speaking names that are simple. Also, I really like short things, like .ac.sol would be great, but that's, of course, already taken. The... the the advantage with the short domains is that you can still make subdomains that are anything. So you can do anything dot sub dot your top level domain dot sol. So that's why I really like small ones. Um, you can do numbers, for instance, this one, which is 42 in binary. And why not register it? Yeah, why not? I want to I wanna get that started. Because it's fun. That's why. But I don't even need to do a bid. I can just register the auction and not bid on it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can also do emojis. For instance, I don't know how to type emojis. Rainbow emoji. 
fuck off. Yes, that's how I type that. You can also do emojis. So for instance, a double rainbow. Oh, that's available. How nice. I'm gonna register my double rainbow. Because I like rainbows. In fact, I could be spamming uh, with auctions now, right? I like rainbows. The, not every emoji is supported though, so rainbow flag emoji. Unfortunately, this one is not valid. You can't register that. That's invalid input. What you can do is create the um, the flag and the rainbow. So flag and rainbow. That would work. It gives the warning that one of those characters might not be displayed properly. And that warning is good because in some cases there can be like white space in there and then it looks like it's that domain but it has some special characters in there so be careful when you actually buy domains that you didn't register yourself it, there can be some special characters in there because the crypto space is full of scammers anyhow i'm gonna register that anyway if somebody wants a flag rainbow <laughs> I'm not gonna bid on it, I'm just I just want to create auctions because I like it. In fact, I want to create more of that rainbow stuff. I wanna I wanna spam rainbows. Spam rainbows because I like rainbows. See, I'm for me this is just a game. There's just a game of excitement. One, two, three, four, five. I want rainbows. I want more rainbows in my life. And I want more rainbows everywhere. And uh, so I'm willing to pay th that little bit of soul to <laughs> register more, more rainbows. More rainbows. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is, this is ridiculous. But uh, I enjoy this. I, at the moment, I, <laughs> if I get in the process of getting super into something, then I'm gonna be. Okay. But I gotta stop now. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna okay okay I'm gonna stop okay I'm 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 almost stopping I'm almost stopping, and I stop. But what I just did now is one strategy that can be used to hide another domain, because people usually buy from the ending soon. Like or at least that's what I do. I have a look at the list here. Oh. What domain could I possibly snatch here, right? Um, and sometimes people spam a lot of auctions just to hide something else. I mean, that's what I imagine that they do. Maybe they just spam that many auctions because they think they can actually sell that. Um, all right, we need to still talk a, a bit about that. But let's, let's have a look here because I want to see how nice that looks now. Does it not? It does not. There, there. Look, look how much I spammed. <laughs> yeah. And let's say I want to register a domain, like I don't know, spam, spam dot soul, and I register it right after I created all of those spam thingies. Then this might not be seen until the others disappear and then it's only a short time that is actually seen on this page with all the auctions. So yeah, that's that's something that does happen sometimes. Now, one thing that we did not discuss though, actually, is how to actually make money with that now. Actually, first, let's get ourselves that other domain that we didn't actually want. But let's claim it with one kilobyte because for most cases that's just enough. If you want to resell it, maybe you should 
take more, maybe even the 10 kilobytes, because some people, if they buy it, they might be looking for something that has the 10 kilobytes, and then uh, it does make sense to, to invest that. So now that we have that, which we don't want, or which we think somebody else could want more, we can sell the domain, right? Actually, I never did that before. So it's the same process again. You start an auction and you can define your minimum bid. So let's say I am willing to give this away to make a little bit of money. I also pay 5% fees to Bonfida. Um, so to not make a loss, I would sell this for... I don't know, let's let's be greedy and say 50, okay? Maybe maybe somebody actually pays that. Who knows? Um, and I select the date. Yes, uh, today. Wow, I actually really never did this. This is great, great freaking. End date would be today. Oh, no. End date would be, let's say, in a week. Perfect, next, and I confirm, yes, there we go. Creating yet another auction, and boom, wait, wait for it, 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 there we go, that's what I wanted to see. So we now have created another auction with seven days but you can define how long you want uh, the auction to run and that's exactly how you spam in a way that you defend your uh, auction that you want to win um, and again you don't and if nobody bids it stays with you if nobody bids on my rainbows then it goes back to being available and somebody else can create that auction but yeah that's essentially the whole process if somebody bids more, then after they claimed it, I get the USDC from his top, top bid minus the 5%. Uh, and that's basically how this works. That's, that's the Solana name service for you. I think that's everything that I wanted to discuss in this video. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or just want to support me in my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, or maybe don't, I don't, I don't care. If you found it super helpful, helpful to the degree that you want to monetarily support me, you can send some soul or any kind of tokens, even NFTs, to donate.loopcreativeandy.sol because that's my official donation address now. You will also find uh, a link to that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me and uh, I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay interested in that crypto space because there are so many interesting things happening. I just need to find out about them. Right. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.